Hey, how's everybody doing today? So today I thought I'd give you a video in regards to my smartphones that I have accumulated over the years. Okay, so basically these are all the smartphones that I have since like back like in 2010. Uh, now I do have a Samsung Galaxy Note 5 that I am actually recording off of and I did have a uh, iPhone 6s Plus. I was like in the mountains and I was doing a YouTube video I was basically uh, recording like three phones uh, at once to do a video on the comparison video, side-by-side -side comparison of uh, the video footage on each phone. And I did my um, iPhone 6S Plus and then I put it like by my bag and then I went and popped another phone in there and I was doing the recording and then some car pulled up, I remember, there was a bunch of people in there by, and by the time I got done recording, I went over there and my iPhone 6 Plus was missing somebody stole it stupid me i shouldn't have left it out there like that <sighs> anyways okay so here i have like uh, lots of uh, samsung galaxy phones i have uh, lots of iphones um so let's just start here here's a samsung galaxy s3 now this is actually my first uh smartphone i had i think i got this back in like 2010 i think and my basically i think it was my first video that I ever recorded on youtube was from my samsung galaxy uh, S3. I basically, I just like held it like this and I was doing like a how-to video on how to fix like a black screen on the computer or something like that. That was like my, I think it was my first, one of my first videos and that one right now has over a million views. But that was one of the uh, videos that kind of jump-started me to continue to do uh, YouTube videos and stuff like that. Anyways, that's my Samsung Galaxy S3. Here is my Samsung Galaxy S4. Then we move on to the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now this one here, actually, this is the first time Samsung came out with a, um, a phone that was water resistant. This one had a rating of IP67. And even though it only had a uh, water resistant rating IP67, I have used this phone like around the world. I have even went uh, snorkeling in like Thailand and Bangkok under like eight feet of salt water uh, recording video and I have a video somewhere on my channel somewhere but you can see the fish going and and I've also used this phone in numerous other times in swimming pools in different uh, oceans and stuff like that and it still works till this day <clears throat> this is a great phone to this day still a great phone then from the S5 I went to the Samsung Galaxy S6 which they for some reason they made this one not water resistant at all then they came out with the Samsung Galaxy S7, which they upped the IP rating, the water resistant rating. So the S5 was IP67, no water resistant, uh, water resistant rating on the S6. And then the S7 came out and it, they upped the rating to IP68. So basically you can go down a little bit further in the water, but I have used this phone in oceans, in Florida, in swimming pools all around uh, the states here. And it still works perfectly fine. We will move over here now. Now here is the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. And one of the main reasons I'm making this video about like my collection of smartphones is because I'm getting ready to return my Note 7. If you guys are familiar with this phone, it's been like catching on fire and Samsung did like a huge recall. They want everybody in the entire world to uh, return their Note 7. And I'm getting ready to. So I thought I, I wanted to include like an extra phone with my phone collection. So, um, so anyways, I'm going to be re returning this like in a few days. But this was a great phone. You know, they had the iris scanner and, uh, you know, the video footage. Uh, the photos were excellent on this phone. Um, anyways, this was the coral blue color, you can see. And like I said, I do have the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 as well, which I am recording off of. That, the Note 5 is one of my daily drivers, and I use my other uh, iPhone as my other, I use two daily drivers. I use my Note 5 and one of my iPhones. So the next one I have is, check this one out. This is a Samsung Galaxy J5. Um, a lot of you guys probably never heard of a Samsung Galaxy J series or a A series. Of course you heard of the S series, but this is basically a budget phone. I don't think many people in the US have the uh, J series here, but this is the uh, 2016 version. And this is a budget phone. This phone basically came out in 2016, and I th it, it's right now. I think you can probably buy it for like 180 bucks. I bought it when it was like 230 dollars in 2016. Basically, when the um, Samsung Galaxy S7 came out, doesn't have as much features as like the S7 or the uh, S lineup, but for a budget phone, great phone. 
uh, the battery is surprisingly better than the S7, but there is less functions and everything, but the camera's good, but there's no uh, image stabilization. But still, for a budget phone, definitely an awesome phone. Then if we move over here, we have my Google Huawei Nexus 6P. Basically, this is a Nexus 6P. I think this is the biggest phone that I have in length. This is like 159.3 millimeters in length. So it's bigger than all my Galaxy Notes, bigger than all my iPhone Pluses in lengthwise. So this is a pretty cool uh, smartphone. Uh, there was a lot of big hype about this phone before, uh, but it does take pretty good photos. Uh, it takes great video. The only thing is, uh, low light. There's definitely a problem with like low light. It's not as good as the Samsung Galaxy phones or even a lot of the uh, the iPhones. But they do have like a thumbprint that's actually on the back. It's actually on the back of the phone instead of you know typically like it's on the front here. So I thought that was pretty cool. So now if we move over here, okay. So here is here. This is a Huawei Honor 3X. I used to live in Shanghai and I bought this. And when I was in China, because, you know, this is a Chinese phone and there was all this hype about the Honor 3X. It's an Android phone. Um, it's dual SIM too. And I wanted to get uh, something with dual SIM because I was traveling around different countries. And I just wanted to have uh, one SIM card um, uh, in, in, to keep my U.S. number and then the other one wherever country that I'm, I'm going to. So, but yeah, this one, lagginess, uh, freezing issues. Uh, battery life was just ridiculous on this phone. Anyways, now let's move on to the iPhones. Here is a iPhone 5S. You can see that this is a tiny phone. This is an awesome phone still. Actually, I seen this phone on Groupon for like $130. It's still worth it. This is still a great phone if you can't really afford like a smartphone. Um, iPhone 5, iPhone 5S. I mean, still a great phone till this day. And then from the iPhone 5S, I went to the iPhone 6, and I got this one in the silver color. Then after the iPhone 6, I got the iPhone 6S, and this one is in gold. Basically, the big difference between the two phones is the iPhone 6S has that like 3D uh, touch. And then from the iPhone 6S, then comes out the iPhone 7, which is right here, this beautiful bad boy. Great phone here, and they dramatically, iPhone has been dramatically improved in regards to like low light. Uh, the iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus is great in low light. Uh, much similar to the Samsung Galaxy like S7 and the uh, Note 5. Before the biggest thing, you know, in regards to the iPhones was like, it wasn't, it didn't take good video or photos in like low light. It would always be like a bunch of noise or like grainy, but they dramatically improved. And I also have a Samsung Gal, or no, I'm sorry, this is a, uh, Apple iPhone 7 Plus and the 7 versus the 7 Plus. And what's the big difference between the two? Well, you know, besides the size, of course, is the iPhone 7 Plus has something called portrait mode, which is absolutely awesome. Basically, if you take a photo using portrait mode, it gives you that kind of like blurry background, that like nice like DSLR feeling. It's like a bulk effect. I had some pictures printed out. I did like comparisons. I print them out on like um, 8x10, I don't know where it's at though, but it, the pictures come out awesome when you blow it up to like an 8x10 sheet and you see the difference between the regular and the portrait mode. I mean, it looks pretty stunning. So from the iPhone 7 Plus, and this is actually one of my main drivers here. Actually, I use uh, the iPhone 7 Plus uh, as my, 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 uh, one of my main daily drivers and I also use my Samsung Galaxy S7. So I use an Android and an iPhone, it's my two daily drivers. But sometimes I will switch I will use my iPhone 7 and then I will use my Note 5. The only thing I wish is the iPhone 7 actually had the portrait mode like the 7 Plus has, but it doesn't. So, oh, now we're going to the Taiwanese name brand phones, the HTC phones. This is a HTC One A9. Nice phone, it's not bad. And then we have another HTC. This is a HTC One M9, and there was a lot of hype about this phone, but you know what, honestly, if you buy a smartphone, you want a good, you know, for pictures and videos, you, you just want point and shoot, you know, you want good quality photos. With this one here, you had to like mess it, mess with it like manually to get like half decent like photos and stuff like that. It was just a pain, but overall still pretty good phone, but I still, I wouldn't recommend this uh, M9. Oh, 
and last but not least is this bad boy here. This is a rugged phone. This is actually my first rugged phone that I got. This is a Geotel A1. And actually, I didn't even get this one long ago. And you know, those rugged phones are supposed to be like water resistant, uh, drop proof, you know, all that stuff. And so I bought it. I wanted to do a drop test. And I did like a, I don't know, like a six foot drop test and a 12 foot drop test. And then I was like, what the hell? Let's just do 20 feet. So I just threw it up in the air, you know, holding my, um, my, my camera and watching it fall, thinking it's going to be okay. And it freaking, it cracked on me. So I got to get this like replaced, but stupid me. But I mean, it still lasted six feet and then 12 feet was no problem. But the 20 foot was just like way too high. And I think it landed like on, like right on the glass. So I have to get that repaired. Anyways, this is my collection of smartphones. Like I said, I will be returning my Note 7 soon. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.